you know, I had a conversation with John when all this shit was going down with him, and I said, listen, dude, you are a wild, I called him up, I'm like, you are a wild motherfucker, and I go, and that's the type of guy that becomes the greatest of all time, you know, I mean, I know you made mistakes, I know, I know you've done stupid shit, but you're still the greatest motherfucker of all time, and you could show the world, bounce back from this and show the world. Dude, what do you think about Johnny Bones coming back? So, what do you think about this? Because this is exciting. This is interesting, right? It's taking a long time. It's taking a long time, but now he's 253 pounds. He's a big solid boy. Solid as a rock. Face look meaty now. Giant. Huge And you back. know his jeans. Look at him. Yeah, his brothers are all super Look at him. Athletes. Look at him. And his IQ is insane. Off the charts. His fucking IQ the is The highest insane. fight IQ maybe ever. Right up there with Mighty Mouse. Joe, he always renege on me. He doesn't let you film him? No, it's just, it's never been a no. What has it, it been? It's just been a, we gonna work, we gonna work. I would, listen, I just did a 30 minute film on Sean O'Malley. I spent one day with him. I told Sean, I'm gonna come to Phoenix from Vegas. I need you to do a lot of shit in one day. I flew in in the morning, left at 8 p.m. That's like Wilder. If you give me one day with a fucking fighter, I'm gonna give you some HBO production shit one person editing it, shooting it, and that's all I ask for. I don't need a week with John Jones. Give and me one John, day. John's interesting. Give me he one does day. A lot of like tactical shooting shit. Whoever breaks into John's house is fucked. Oh yeah. They, First of all, he's got that. Dog. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. Also, he's got that fucking dog. He's got a, a Belgian Malinois that is like very trained, like as trained as they <laughs> oh, get. Yeah. Like that dog, those are little raptors. Those are the dogs they use overseas. Those dogs, man, you cannot have that dog and be like a regular person and just like leave it in the yard. That dog's gonna jump man, the fence. Man, this motherfucker's so misunderstood. I, I gotta get tap into his brain. I just He's, know how to pull that out of people. What John is, is the type of guy that does the type of shit that John does. Like when you open up a fight, when you're the youngest ever guy fighting for the title and you open up a fight <laughs> with Shogun with a flying Why knee, that's, that's a wild man. That's what He's he a wild man. You know, I had a conversation with John when all the shit was going down with him, and I said, listen, dude, you are a wild... I called him up, I'm like, you are a wild motherfucker. And I go, and that's the type of guy that becomes the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. You don't get to be the greatest of all time just being a normal person. And I go, and that's just how, that's just who you are. You know, I mean, I know you made mistakes, I know, know you've done stupid shit, but you're still the greatest motherfucker of all time, and you could show the world. Bounce back from this and show the world. He... I don't know what it is. It's like he constantly, like, the fans get on him because he always posts his comparisons against Khabib. Like, I had more title fights than he had fights. John Jones, you are the GOAT. Khabib, called, his father said you're a gift from God. Pull up that quote from Abdul Manap about John Jones. He is a gift from God. Khabib ain't trying to compare it to you. Right. Like, so you don't need to keep but trying to validate fan. yourself. It's, it's us talking I know, about it on But that's the what I'm saying. He, he's and... getting trolled. Yeah. Because he got to validate himself. Like, bro, you don't need to validate yourself. But I think it's just because he hasn't fought in a while. And yeah. also because... Out of because, sight, out of mind? Yeah, yeah. There's that. And also because, you know, when you've had all these setbacks, that those those things haunt you. Yeah. Doubt. You know, all the shit that happened with him, all the terrible shit. All that stuff fucks with him. It's got to fuck with him. I just, I, just, I just pray that somebody... If John is listening to me, I hope he has a camera crew just documenting it all. Because you can't get this shit back. That's why I love documentaries more than anything. He doesn't it's, need a camera crew. He needs you. He needs you to go do it. Because a regular camera crew is not going to capture nope. it all the way you And then he he's not going to trust them. Right. Exactly. And he's not going to vibe with them. He's not going to have fun with them. And also, you will know what to capture. Yeah. You, you have a vision of like how to put it together. I, I, I The film is already done. In your if, head. It, oh, my God. It is already done. Come on, John Jones. It's already done. Like, one, I promise you, if I spent one day with John Jones, it would be his Well, let's story. make it happen. Let's we make got it happen. To. I we bet we can to. make it happen. One day. Give me one fucking day. But he doesn't have a fight lined up, unfortunately. That's I, the best time to get the right. stories. My most popular shit is the Dagestan Chronicles. 40-something mm. million views. Right. That was Khabib doing Ramadan. It had nothing to do with a fight. Right. Like, people love seeing these guys out of their element. Yep. The same one when I just did with O'Malley. Mm -hmm. He talked, O'Malley talking about how he owned property and this and that. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not built. If you go look at anything I ever done, I'm not having a fighter talk shit about the opponent. Right. I'm telling a story about the fighter. Right. I don't give a fuck about 
Uh, Trash talk. I'm not getting no, no money from the pay-per-views. Right. So I need to just tell the story about you as a person. If you go look at those YouTube comments, it's so many people that's like, I was not a fan of this guy until I saw this video. Yeah. And that's, if I saw one comment, that's all I cared about. That's That was the effect that I wanted. Like, somebody saw something different in Sean O'Malley than the hanging out with 6 9 and Jake right. Paul and Logan Paul or the Nelk boys. Right. It's like I showed him as a person, his mom, his dad. Like, think about that, bro. He gave me access to his family, his chi- his child, his 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 partner, his mom, his dad, his coach. Like, these fighters give me that type of access. They got to trust you enough to, to tell you the story. Because yeah. now so many videographers out there are part of this sport, and they're just putting music on video. It's like, tell the fucking story. Yeah. Stop just putting rap music with a song or like with some footage and thinking it's cool. Yeah, it's cool for Instagram, but is that going to matter years later? I still get comments from on videos from four years ago because it lasts. How is John 35 now? How old is John now? He got to be young. Well, he's fairly young. Kamal is 36. John's 35. Yeah, Kamal. Which yeah. is prime for a heavyweight. That's yeah, prime that's for good time. I mean, Perfect. Glover is the champ. Was yeah. the champ? Well, light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Forty-two. Um, but Glover. No, like, Francis is what? Thirty-seven. Yeah, Francis is like at least thirty-seven. So John is younger than Francis. Yes. Damn. Yeah. Steve is in his forties, right? Steve is forty-one. DC retired at what? Forty-two. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 